I'm about to change your life, I promise you. Because we know we have to be creating all these TikTok videos. We have to be giving value. We have to be showing up on that vertical format, 80 bazillion places, doing 80 bazillion different things, with all these different audios and trendings, and it's so much manual labor. But I'm about to change your life and make it so much easier. That's right, by the time this video is over, you're gonna only going to know how to schedule, that's right, I said schedule vertical videos, but with the click of a couple buttons, you're gonna be able to distribute that content automatically to all of the places that you need to be with those vertical videos. Stay tuned to see how this works. Take action now. Hi, my name is Desiree. If you're looking to grow your business with better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and the bell below. Anything that you do, and content marketing, whether it is making TikToks, automating them, making all the things work, scheduling things out, you have to have an effective content plan, which is why I have a free content planning worksheet that you can grab down in the description below to guide you through what you need to do, what you need to say, how to make it all work, so that what you're doing isn't a colossal waste of your time. In order for us to effectively repurpose your content, you have to do two things. One, you have to use the TikTok desktop tools, like basically log into TikTok, on your desktop and you can schedule your content through the desktop. And two, you're going to need Repurpose IO, which you can find down in the description down below where you can try it out for free with my link because I'm trying to hook you up like that. Your girl lacks a bargain. I'm gonna walk you through how to do this over on the desktop. Again, I cannot emphasize this enough to you. You are using the computer for this. I know it sounds contradictory since a lot of the content we're creating with TikTok and Reels and all these other places is going to be done on your phone. So you're going to have to first create your video, download it or get it to your computer in some way, shape or form. And then all of these other things can happen. Right now, as of my knowledge, when I'm recording this, you cannot schedule your content natively to TikTok from your phone. However, in the event that you can create your TikToks and schedule them to post, this system still works whether you're doing it from the phone or from the desktop because your purpose IO is a triggering system where it's designed so that whatever you post on TikTok will then be downloaded onto the repurpose IO like system magical place. It is downloaded without the watermark and then it is pushed to the other places that you want it to go. So I'm gonna show you how to schedule your content with the desktop app, but at the time of this, that's what you could do. You could not do it from mobile, but if you can do it from mobile, like that's super cool. But then I'm gonna show you how to use Repurpose.io so that you can effectively trigger all the things that you're posting on TikTok to work. Let's head over to the computer. Okay, so like I said, you can schedule your TikTok videos from the TikTok desktop app. So let me show you how to do that. So first things first, you go log into your TikTok, go to your profile and hit upload in the upper right hand corner. You're just going to drag and drop your video into here. And what's great is it doesn't matter how long it is. When you use other third party tools, there's actually a length limitation, like how long it can be. I have it in here. I can select like which one I want my cover to be, which is nice as I can scroll. Again, when you use third party tools, you cannot select your cover. So this is a nice little upgrade that you have. Um, I want it to be public. I can turn on duet and stitch, which is definitely something to do. And then I'm going to hit this schedule my video. So what you can do is you can do it 15 minutes from the point that you're at. So right now it is 1231 on my clock. I can't do like 12, uh, 49 or whatever. I have to do the, the round at the nearest five and I have to schedule it for 15 minutes from now, which works out well because it allows for us to move to the next step of our video where I'm going to show you how repurpose IO works, but you can do a copyright check if you want to change your video. It's all pretty basic in here, what you can do. And because you're using the tool natively, it works really nicely. So then you just hit schedule. You can view it in your profile and you can see right here, you can see that it is scheduled for this time. And if you go to your mobile app, it will also show you that this video is scheduled as well. As you can see, I have the thumbnail that I picked, all that good stuff. So now let's head over to Repurpose.io where I'm gonna show you how to set up the triggers to make sure that when this scheduled video publishes, it's going to publish to all of your other places. So now we're gonna go into Repurpose.io. Oh, when you go to Repurpose.io, you create your account for free to get started. The first thing you need to do is go over to the left to connections. This is where we add our destinations, like where we want our TikTok videos to be repurposed. What's great about Repurpose.io is that you are able to take your TikTok video, download it to its system, remove the watermark, and then repurpose it to post to the places that you want it to go. So we need to add our destinations that we want to take the TikTok. So we're going to select Instagram. We're going to name 
our connection. So I always like to start with the name of the brand followed by what platform it is that we are going to. Because if you name a brand first, that's for you to group things together really well. So what I have to do with this pop-up is I have to authorize Repurpose.io to be a part of it. Now, when you do this for the first time, just literally select every single page because that you manage, because you never know when you're going to need to add them to your Repurpose.io. Because if you want to go add, like add another Instagram account later and you've only selected one, it's not going to let you do it. So authorize them all out the gate. Okay. Now we're going to add Facebook where it's going to be the same situation. And we're just going to again start with the name of the brand and then what destinations is Facebook. It does say that it is for personal use, but it's because they have to log into your personal account in order for Facebook to work for you. And you just log in to your account, your personal account or the personal account that has all of the pages that you're going to be using there. And then you'll be able to select the page when we do our connections. We've done TikTok, we've done Pinterest, we've done Facebook, we've done Instagram. So these are the ones that we're going to be using for example. So now that we have all of our connections that we want made, now we're gonna go to our workflows. So our workflows are going to be what allows for us to do what we need it to do. So again, I always start by naming the name of the brand it is that I'm doing it for. And then I tell it the destination, which is TikTok, and then where it's going. For my case, we're always going to be starting from TikTok, and then we're going to be sending it to Reels. So my source type will be from TikTok. I'm going to send it to uh, my purse, my Desiree Rose TikTok. That's where it's sourcing from. I'm going to upload the full video. I'm going to make sure that I have full video selected, not a snippet of it. We're keeping this simple. And then we're going to choose our destination. Where is this going to? And what account is it that I'm going to be posting this to, which is this one. Okay. So I want to make sure that I have all of that very clearly stated. And then I'm going to make sure that it goes to reels. Okay. And then I'm going to hit done. Now, as you can see, I have this here. What you can do is change this from manual to auto. What this is going to do. And I'm changing this from this date forward. Cause you don't want anything old auto posted. What this is going to do is anything that is posted today or from this date going forward, whenever I post from TikTok, it's going to go to Instagram reels. Okay. So now let's do our other destinations just so that we can kind of get them all done and we can see how easy this is going to be to work. So from TikTok, and we're going to go to Facebook, our Facebook page. Okay. Our source again is TikTok. We're going to make it from that connection video. My destination is going to be my Facebook. I'm going to pick my page, right? It's going to provide me with the different pages and I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to hit done and I have it the same thing going forward. Confirm. Okay. Everything I do automatically will post from TikTok to Facebook. Once I post, I'm picking my Pinterest board that I want things to go to. I also, and you have to have it already created. So I'm just going to do social, there we go. Okay. And, or I can, um, I can choose my board or I can enter the name of a new board and my new board. I'm going to be done. So every time this post is going to go to that specific board and I'm going to hit, it's already on auto. Okay. And then we'll do our last destination. So these are my three destinations that I will be auto posting from. Okay. Now that we have set up all of our systems for the, the, the places, the destinations we want our video to go, that's it. Like that's all you have left to do except wait for the video to publish and then it will trigger. So now that we have our system set up, whenever this video that we created in here schedules, we are good to go. So I am going to show you what it looks like. So you can go in here to view your content. So you can see like what is going on. Obviously I had this error here. This is not repurposed IO as well. This is my fault because I was playing around with stuff. But this right here, this was a video that I had scheduled to publish through the TikTok desktop app. It was this one right here. And so it went live at 1130 and it is now up and I can see, I can click this eyeball and I can see where it posted um, on the platform so I can see it natively. Now, for some reason, if you have published something and you want to check it, you can hit fetch content and it will refresh what you have going on here so that it'll know that it's going to happen eventually or later down the line. So this video that I have posted, once it publishes, if I'm impatient and I don't want to wait for this system to work, because sometimes there can be a one to two hour delay, 
I can go in here and hit fetch content and it'll show up in here. So let's go back to and kind of see like where this one was as well. So I can view my content. I can see where this video was and I can hit the eyeball and I can see where it is that it published natively into my Facebook feed. Going back here, we can go and see where it is on Pinterest as well. I can go into my view content. I can see where it went onto Pinterest. I can see that it's in here. I can see that it went to this playlist of TikTok videos here. Now it's important to note that these videos are not idea pins. They are just regular pins, but I don't think that that is necessarily a horrible portal situation. And that is how you are going to be able to systemize and streamline all of your content so it works easier. So you can create your content ahead of time. You can schedule to TikTok and then you can use Repurpose.io to activate all of your systems to really streamline and simplify this process for you so that you are not having to manually do this. As an agency, we have had to do this and it is such a time suck. And we have limitations on when we can do it. Like we have to make sure all of our team members are in place, that they are working. If someone is available or if they're sick or they're moving or whatever, like we have to make sure that someone else is covering that work. It's a whole login drama. Oh my God. The login drama is the absolute worst. Simplifying this process so that you can get your message out there and not have to worry about it's a little set it and forget it. But I think that it's just super necessary as busy brands or social media agencies and things like that to simplify this process. So now we are minimizing and limiting any excuse that you could possibly have that's going to stop you from doing what it takes to make sure that your videos are successful on TikTok. Now, if you're wanting to make better TikTok videos because you want this whole system to work really well for you, I want you to watch this video that I have right here where I walk you through the process on how to do that and watch this video right here because YouTube thinks you are really going to like it. And until next time, I will see you soon.